Hi, I'm Chuck from Mala, and today I'm really excited to present to you the newest generation of ACX Arctic Pro equipment. This particular model is an ACX 2250, which is our mid-level YF refrigerant station. A couple unique selling features of this that really sets it apart from the competition. On the top of the unit here, you've got your light bar. This is bright and it's, you can see from a distance in the shop what's going on with the processes on the unit. Down here is our seven inch touch screen. It's a capacitive touch screen. And what we've done on the screen here is provided unit status for usable refrigerant, filter life remaining, vacuum oil life remaining, and color coding. So you can see when you're getting low on refrigerant, for example, or when you're out of refrigerant and you need to refill the internal tank. On the left side is a picture of the unit, the serial information and the software version that's currently running. And along the bottom, you have a lot of information here, a user manual that you can get to right from the front of the screen. Here's a QR code that's presented to connect your phone app to the machine so that you can screen mirror from a distance while you're out to lunch if you wish. And a unit of measure selection where you can select different unit of measure types just by pushing the button. Moving down on the front here, we've got our two gauges that are plumbed directly into the manifold, so these are direct readings at all times. Below that here is a cutout for the thermal printer. Now these units are Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so they're normally network printed for service reports, but we also offer a thermal printer option for insulation in this location here. The cabinet doesn't require screws to open or close. All you need is a screwdriver to unlock the cabinet. Once unlocked, you can open the cabinet and get to everything in the inside of the unit. Starting from the top on the hood here, we've got the logic board that runs the HMI and a power board here that's protected against electrical shock by this cover. Below that, we've got our new high flow manifold installed in this location here and attached to the manifold are what we're using our AC solenoids rather than DC solenoids, which we find work better. They, they pull in stronger and are less prone to dirt and contamination stiction inside the, uh, the solenoid plunger. To the left, on this particular unit, we have an external identifier that's internally mounted, and this prevents contamination from entering into the unit that requires a decontamination process. So this is a, it's a great feature for preventing that contamination. Moving our way down here, you have very easy access. Here's the filter dryer. Again, no screws to remove to access the filter dryer. It's easily accessible, so easy on, easy off when you're doing your servicing and maintenance. We've got our tank that's mounted on a shock-mounted scale. The shock-mounted scale allows you to roll over hoses or electrical cords without putting the scale out of calibration. Down here, front and center, is the vacuum pump. We put this on the front here not only for being able to check the level from the side very easily, but also for serviceability. You can fill from here and drain right down here. Everything's right in front of you. Makes it a lot easier for service. On the back of the cabinet, we've got our parking couplers here. That allows you to flush between oil types in the event you need to do that. Here you've got your RFID pole and a separate coupler attachment for that to keep that clean. Over here, you have good clear visibility to your RFID filter, so you can check for contamination. Next to that is the power switch, with an added benefit of having a breaker built into the power switch, so no fuses you have to replace. And here's where the power enters the unit. Down here, you have a basket that keeps all your hoses organized, your cowl ball, your adapters, and whatever else you want to keep back here. For more information, please contact us at the link below.